Happy Chinese Lantern Festival or Sticky Rice Balls Festival. That's how people in China call it. And in Chinese, it's Yuan Xiao Jie. Yuan Xiao in Chinese is Sticky Rice Balls. So I'm not sure it's the festival named after the dessert or the dessert named after the festival. But anyway, in today's video, I'm going to make a traditional Chinese sesame seeds sticky rice balls use my self-made sesame seeds filling this is a very classic traditional dessert on this day of the year so it's 15 days after Chinese New Year is Lantern Festival hope you enjoyed this video so I bought my sesame seeds from Amazon you can see and I didn't realize they are all in small bags. <laughs> 100 grams. So here is one. They are all separate packed. And firstly, we will need 50 grams of black sesame seeds, 35 grams of sugar. and 35 grams of lard. I made this myself. I will put a link in the card. Firstly, turn our stove on low heat and bake our black sesame seeds. It will release the fragrance from our seeds. So use the mixer, adding our roasted black sesame seeds, our sugar, as well as our lard and mix everything together until it's fine it almost looks like a paste then we can transfer everything to a separate container here you can see it's still fluid that's why we're gonna take a transparent plastic foil and transfer this in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. We need 100 grams of sticky rice flour, adding gradually boiling water, and the water has to be hot, and we're adding the water slowly. Use a spoon to stir it. Once we get the correct consistency, we just use our hands to form a dough and transfer it to a working surface and continue kneading it. Now take our sesame seeds filling out. You can see it's solid. We can use a teaspoon and just scoop out a bit of the filling and form a ball shape in our hands and roll it. We're going to repeat this process until we finish all our filling. So here you should get around 8 to 10 balls. Now we can separate our dough to smaller pieces. I was able to do 8 pieces. Now we flatten one of the dough and put the filling inside and use our hands to just wrap our dough around our filling and close it. Then we can roll it, make a perfect round shape. And we're going to repeat this process until we finish all the dough and the fillings. Once this is finished, we take a pot of cold water enough to cover all our rice balls, a few slices of ginger and Chinese brown sugar, one half tablespoon. Turn our heat to medium low and we're going to boil the water. Once it starts boiling, we can add in our sticky rice balls just slowly one by one and make sure it's all perfect and closed. 
Now we can use a spatula to just stir it around to prevent it from sticking on the bottom of the pot. Once it starts boiling, we can add in a bit of cold water and close the lid again. Once again, it starts boiling. We can see the rice balls are floating in the water, means they are done. Now we can take them out and enjoy our rice balls. So here are my giant rice, sticky rice balls with my self-made sesame seeds filling. Use a lot. So let's give it a try. Here is one. Mmm. My lipa. <laughs> rice balls. Mm. It tastes just like the ones you get from supermarket in China. And it's filled with fluid sesame seeds and sweet and healthy. So. Mmm. I'm sure right now lots of black sesame seeds on my teeth. So try not to open my mouth to bake. But hope hopefully everyone has a really good Chinese Lantern Festival. And um had the whole weekend with your family members, not like us. By ourselves but anyway if you like this video please give me a thumb up and leave your comments below you if you want to see more videos like this one please subscribe to my youtube channel and see you next time see ya did you subscribe yet if not click here click here click here every day watch new videos at 6 p.m here are my two recommended videos Thanks for watching. See ya. 谢谢大家.